Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. This is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen forecast for the first half of June. Um, thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit the like button so it tells the algorithm you want to see future readings from me. Um, and of course, this is general. So if you do want a personal session with me, all of my information will be listed in the description box, as well as opportunities to get 20% off your first reading if you are a new client. So check out my um, Zodiac quiz for the Zodiac sign of Virgos, as well as my emailing list sign up on my website, okay? So let's get into some things. Virgos, what are they not expecting to happen in the first half, half of June, excuse me? 2020 first half of june for virgos for june 2020 what are they not expecting to happen Alrighty, and then of course the first cards we're going to start with are going to be these over here let me back this up a little bit okay so let's talk about it so first two cards, let's talk about the world card and let's also talk about the happy family card here. So um, first thing I'm picking up on, this is speaking to, for one, there's going to be like a huge cycle shift that's going to happen in regards to your family. For some of you, this is like either you guys working on some family issues here and then there's like some sort of resolution that comes out of it um, that just happens randomly or happens really in divine timing as well. For some of you, you also may just come into a space of realizing that whatever grudges or issues you may have with certain family members is just not worth it, especially for the sake of family. If you guys are not able to get along or deal with each other in a cordial manner, then that's not going to be healthy for anyone. And for some of you, if you do have children as well, the person who you may have children with is like understanding that there's no need for you guys to be holding a grudge towards each other, especially since the relationship has been like pretty much long, long gone and long done. Does that make sense? Basically, you guys haven't been dealing with each other for a long time, okay? And it's like you're realizing there's no need for you to be holding a grudge about this. Or for some of you, you're sick and tired of the person who you may have children with holding a grudge and you're willing to, again, be cordial at least. Now, looking at these cards over here, and oh, actually, before I go over there, I actually want to speak about this. Um... Another thing you may not be expecting to happen for some of you, you may be traveling. Finally, uh, this may be something that you've been wanting to do for some time, like moving across the country or for some of you, there's just going to be some sort of cycle here, a cycle shift or a new start that's going to happen. That's going to be really worthwhile for you guys in the end, emotionally, something that's going to make you feel very content. Wow. Wow. Okay, and some of you, you may have family across the world. You may have to go see them. But looking at the energy over here, we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Okay. So looking further into what you may not be expecting to happen, for some of you, okay, <laughs> Well, some of you may be expecting this, but if somebody comes in and out of your life is very unstable in your life as well, this individual is definitely going to try to come right back around. OK, um, we have the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who's just very hot and cold in and out. Two of Pentacles, back and forth, highs and lows, Knight of Swords in and out, randomly coming in, randomly leaving. You guys are still going to be dealing with this situation. This could be a fire sign, air sign, shoot. For some of you, maybe even an, uh, an earth sign like yourself. But you may still be dealing with this unstable individual. 
And this connection is going to put things definitely in perspective in regards to what's the best plan of action for you with them, especially coming in and out of your life. Another thing you may not expect to happen is for some of you, somebody who you thought, like I said, was just done with you or somebody who you were done with, this person is just going to try to come right back around like Knight of Cups. This seems like a different person. So if you live in a state where you guys are like, you know, on lockdown or whatever, this person may reach out to you via text message and just reach out and be like, hey, what's going on? Like pretty much acting as if nothing happened to cause you guys to not talk anymore. This person is just going to try to act like things are good. Some of you, you're going to leave an apartment, home. For some of you, this is even a job, but you're about to leave an unsatisfactory situation that you're in and make some sort of moves to look at other opportunities. I really feel like this is jobs for some of you, but really this seems like living situations as well for some of you as well. Hmm. Another thing that may happen is um, for some of you, there may be some sort of like a uh, person who you had like some sort of like marriage or like love situation with where you may be in this energy of just not being 100 percent sure what you want to do when it comes to dealing with like the burden of this person, even though you care about this person. It's just like, what do I do with that? And for a lot of you, this is something who, what you've been debating. This is something that you have been debating, excuse me, for some time now, um, especially with the two of swords. For some of you, this could have been like two months of you emotionally trying to debate on what you're going to do in the long term when it comes to a situation here. OK, um, I also get this energy as well. There's also like just things that are going to come out of the blue in regards to, like I said, work stuff. So if you have a job that was already kind of like testy, especially with the whole like stuff that's going on right now, um, you may be still having to like sort of deal with that. Okay. Some of you, like I said, just make sure you're putting some money away if you can. Um, if you're just, your job does seem a little testy. Okay. For a lot of you, what's the problem here in your love life? If you're in a relationship, please be careful of just like random arguments, like you and your partner just having random spats of like issues. And for a lot of you, if those issues do come up, you guys could like right away nip it in the bud and fix your issues with this individual. It's just a matter of making sure you guys are not beaten like immature with each other. Hmm. Some of you are going to have to take a step back in regards to your marriage or your relationship to really think about whether or not it's worth it to still have like this, this struggle and strife, these issues that have been just accumulating over time. For some of you, you're going to be looking at like the amount of work that you've already put into the relationship and you're going to be, like I said, contemplating on whether or not it's supporting you and if it's worth it, like I said. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of opportunities come your way in love, money, all of that. It's just a matter of you guys, for one, making sure these, you know, connections that are coming forward or, you know, these new opportunities are going to benefit you in the space that you're in. Like, that's the only, like, good advice I can give you for this whole entire, like, second or first half of June, okay? 
but I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much Virgos for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. It definitely does help. And it lets you know when I get new videos posted. Um, also make sure that you check out my information listed in the description box. You can get like a June 2020 forecast um, for like only $15. So check that out while that sale is even available. Okay. Um, and yes, thank you so much. And I will talk to you in the next one. All my information will be listed below.